So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera, plenty of boot space as well, uh, and that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the digital readout for the speedometer uh, in the dead centre at the top there. Uh, down in the bottom left-hand side, we have the rev counter. Below that, the total miles for this car, which are 3,127. And over on the right-hand side at the bottom, the coolant temperature gauge and the fuel gauge for the car as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have uh, cruise control, speed limiter. Uh, once you set cruise control, you can hit this button here. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, uh, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front speed. And then we have uh, stereo and phone controls on the right-hand side. This car's got an automatic gearbox, so the minus paddle and the plus paddle are for changing up and down a gear manually should you wish to do that. Over in the centre we then have the touch screen which includes satellite navigation. We've done a full video showing how the sat nav works which you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, when it comes to music in this car we have DAB radio, AM radio and FM radio. If you want to listen to your own music you can do so uh, via Bluetooth audio after you've paired your phone, via USB input and also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are both available as well. On top of all of that, we have a full color reversing camera, as you can see. Below that, we have our climate control. So uh, this is dual zone climate control, meaning you can adjust the passenger temperature and driver temperature, and the adjustments will show on the left and right hand sides of the screen just here. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Air conditioning is on at the moment, so that's off, back on again. You can hit auto. If you do that, the car will now take control of the temperatures that you asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. You can manually override that whenever you wish to. We've also got a heated driver and passenger seat, both of which have three heat settings each. Uh, down here, a 12 volt charging socket, USB input. We can turn our parking sensors on and off, the interior alarm, the lane departure warning system, the stop and start. And then we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.